Hey, YouTube. It's Lil Watachi again. I had some, uh, somebody sent me some, uh, information yesterday that Trump and even a lot of people in, to do with Congress and the Senate had just gotten passed a bill that will take effect sometime either this year or by the end of 2020. Now this bill, I was reading about it on uh, a government website last night, and this bill is abolishing the federal income tax. Now, on top of that, it's going to abolish the IRS completely. Now, the reason this was happening is there was a woman that uh, filed her taxes and she was a penny, one penny off, one penny less than what she owed. Well, the IRS decided they were going to fine her $150 for being one penny off. And uh, so when that happened, they went ahead and uh, it pissed some people off in D.C., I guess. Now, it has been passed. How it got passed, I don't know, with, uh, you know, the Democrats and the Republicans fighting like they are. And, and uh, how, but it, according to the government websites, it did get passed. And, uh, but I started looking into it, and I heard about this about five years ago, five or six years ago, that the money they collect from our income taxes, because... I was wondering, okay, well, if supposedly the money that we that everybody pays in income taxes off of their when they work and shit, that's the money that the government runs off of. Well, if truth be told, it's not. They the federal income tax does not go to the United States government in any way, shape, or form. The federal income tax money that everybody pays is basically a payment that is being made to, part of it goes to the Vatican, part of it goes to London, and part of it goes to Washington, D.C., which are three separate countries in and of themselves, three separate entities. London is not a part of Europe, it's not a part of Paris. It's its own entity, just like uh, Washington, D.C. is not a part of the United States. It's its own entity. It has its own uh, government, its own police. Um, it's not a part. That's why it's called Washington District of Columbia. It's not a part of the United States. Well, London's the same way, and Vatican, the Vatican's the same way. Well, this was the control that the New World Order was going to have. The Vatican, Vatican was going to be in control of religion, all the religions throughout the world. London was going to be in control of the money. And Washington, D.C. was going to be the military. That is the New World Order. And those are the places that were going to control the entire Earth. But now that the New World Order is being... Uh, being overthrown, it's basically Trump has uh, stuck a stick in their spokes and has stopped a, a bunch of that shit that was going forward because we were pretty close for them being, you know, everything being in place. If, if Hillary Clinton would have made it to the presidency, this whole new world order would have happened. There'd be one money, one religion, one everything. One government, one everything. We'd all be controlled by the same one across the earth. So, what I'm going to do in the description here, I'll put a link to the government uh, website that I found that 
uh, that talks about this abolishment of the IRS and the federal income taxes. And you guys can check it out for yourself. Now, you know what? I don't believe, I don't, you know, even with it coming off of a government website, I don't believe nothing until it happens. I mean, they, they can talk about stuff all the time and it don't mean it's true until you actually see it happening. Just like when, even though I voted for Trump, it was still in the back of my mind that they were not not going to allow Trump to be president. I was hoping and praying, but I didn't think that morning when I got up that he, he was going to win. But he did, and that's what I mean. I don't believe nothing until it actually happens. So, uh, but there are, there is evidence out there that says it has happened. It's already happened. They just got a date that it's going to be put into place. So, but I, I just, uh, wanted to let you guys know, I'm, I'm just starting to research on this and I'll let the more I find out, the more I'll let you guys know about it. But, uh, this is something you guys, uh, if you want to go to the link that I put in the description and everything, you can, you can research on it too. And if you find something that, that might, that I, that you want me to hear or you want me to see, just please send it to me because, uh, I'll put it in a video and I'll give you credit for it. You know, no problem. The more people we have researching this stuff, the more information we can get. I only have so much time on my own to research stuff, so it takes me a while to to look at, you know, get get all the research done. So the more people researching it, the more stuff we can find and quicker. But uh, hey, this is my first video on it, so I just uh, I wanted to get it out here and get you guys thinking about it, see if you can find any info on it. If you can, send it to me. Or if, if nothing else, just comment, and uh, I'll look it up myself. Just tell me where to find it and whatever. But if this is happening, people, then this is a step in the right direction. Because he did say uh, when he was running that he, the IRS ought to be abolished and the Federal Reserve needs to be taken down. And if he can do those two things, he's going to change our country majorly. He'll go down in history as as a, a bigger president as Washington D Washington George Washington went down in our history as the father of our country if Trump can get this taken this uh IRS and the Federal Reserve taken down by the end of his second term he will have done as big a things for us as uh w George Washington did so i mean i we got there's some things that could be happening here, people, uh, in the next four and a half years that uh, that could change our entire country and give it give it back to us. So I'm praying for it. I'm definitely praying for it. So you guys, you guys all have a good day out there. It's the Fourth of July. Uh, at this point, I'm not going to be. I'm actually working. I'm not going to be celebrating it because I. At this point, I don't see nothing to celebrate. Um, it's just another day. But if we can get this taken care of, if Trump can get these things taken care of, there'll be a reason to celebrate this day. You know? But at this point, I don't feel there's any reason to celebrate this day anymore than I would have celebrated last Monday. So, I'm working today. But you guys have a good day. I know a lot of you guys are out there getting together with family and having cookouts or whatever you're going to do. Shoot off some fireworks tonight. All of you have fun. It looks like it's going to be a nice day in my area. Hopefully it is in your area. And may God bless us all because we're going to need it before this is over with. Have a good day, people.